Hi, this is Amanda from MoreAware. Welcome to Pan and Zoom. You're probably familiar with how to zoom in and out. CounterGo also has a pan feature because the drawing space available is much larger than it appears in the view window. Using a combination of these two features can help you navigate the drawings that have a lot of pieces. I've opened a quote for a big job. With this many countertops, the measurements can get quite small. Using the zoom in button from the right side navigation, I can zoom to make changes. And of course, the zoom out button will do the opposite. Reset zoom will switch it back to the original view, fitting all the pieces on the screen. I'll zoom back in and change some dimensions on this countertop. When I want to quickly move around to other pieces that are off screen, I'll use the pan button. The larger light green area is the total drawing area that you have available. The smaller dark green rectangle represents the view you can see on the screen at any given time. You can see that the pieces not shown in my zoomed in view are all in the pan view. I can click and hold on the small rectangle and move it around to work on different pieces while zoomed in. Click anywhere in the drawing space to close the pan window and edit a countertop. When you're done, or if you get too zoomed in, click on Reset Zoom to snap back to showing all the pieces in your drawing. There are lots of places to find help as you're working, including when you're in the drawing steps. From the top menu bar, click on the Help icon, then Search Help to open our online Help Center in a new window. That covers how to use Pan and Zoom to navigate your drawing canvas. The next video, Orders, is an overview of using orders to track quotes that become sales and their payments. If you have questions or would like to set up a quick call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moreaware.com. Happy quoting!